my quick, quick thoughts on the new Kendrick Lamar damn. I'm gonna try to make this as quick as possible. All right, it might be a little tough since I fucking love this album. You guys already know I love this album. I mean, all the talk, all the hype that I've been talking about with this album, you already know I love it. So let me just try to go into this track list here and try to break it down track by track for you guys as quickly and as smoothly as possible. There might be a little rough patches because there's a lot to digest in this album. All right, there's a lot that I still haven't even really comprehended yet. All right, so the intro track was really cool. I think it sets a lot of the tone for the album and everything. I mean, of course, since it's like the whole entire story being told in one track that you have to really focus on throughout the whole entire album. At least that's how I picked it up. Uh, track number two, DNA. <laughs> Yo, we need to really recognize Mike Will made it, okay? That beat is just next level. It's a next level beat. Like, it just, the whole beat change. Oh my God. That shit is incredible. Incredible. Uh, we got Ya. Yeah. That hook was stuck in my head for a while. It still is. Sometimes I just catch myself singing it. It's a, it's a really good song. I really like that one. Uh, Element was great. I really loved Element. I love the, uh, the beat switch after the first chorus. Like, with the guitar. It's like... Burn, 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 burn. That shit is amazing. Uh, feel was pretty good. I loved when he switched it up and got way more aggressive. But then he, like, toned it down. And was like, who's praying for me? I really like that track. Uh, I like Loyalty. Um, the thing is, I think there's like a time and place for it. Um, it's not one of my go-to, but I really like the beat. I, the only problem is I feel like Kendrick was kind of boring on it. And so was Rihanna. They just had like a boring-ass tone on it. But it was still good. I think there's a time and place for it, like I said. Uh, Pride was pretty good. It was kind of a more different sound. It was kind of That was also kind of a boring track. It, but it was like good. I think there's a time and place for that one as well. Maybe when you're just riding around at nighttime, you know, you're just trying to like, you know, you're feeling a little bit emotional. You gotta just really be in tone with the music. You're just driving around. That's that's me though. That's me. Uh, Humble was good. You already know how I feel about that. Lust was really good. It reminded me of a uh, Vibrate by Andre, Andre 3000. Uh, it was a re I really like that track. I really love. I love the beat. I love the whole thing. And he's like, and at the end he's like were drones or something he says drones or some shit like that I, I really like that uh i didn't mind love that much uh it's kind of like loyalty like there's a time and place for it uh so far whenever i'm just driving around sometimes if that one comes on i'll just let it ride you know i'll just let it keep going on and it, there's a time and place for it um xxx that shit is fucking incredible holy shit i love that song i think his verse during that first uh, the first, uh, when all the police sirens and shit comes in, that verse is wow, wow, that shit is amazing, uh, and, uh, the second half of that song, I don't really mind it, but I haven't really, like, like, it comes on and I'll listen to it, but, I, it's, the first, the first part is just way too good, uh, Fear, that song is, oh my god, that seriously might be, top five Kendrick tracks I've ever heard it's oh my god I love that I love fear so much I think it I think it was awesome the way he put in all the title tracks in when he was like finishing up the song and uh oh my god I think that like oh my god I don't even know but then speaking of god we got God as the next track, and I think that might be t uh, Kendrick's top five worst tracks, man. I need, I don't, uh, I don't even know where that fits in on the album. I think it sounds horrible. I, I, it's like when I first heard God, like my inner Kendrick stan, the first day that album came out, my first listens, I was like, okay, I'm gonna try and dig up my deepest inner Kendrick stan for this song and try to find something enjoyable out of it. And after a few days, I cannot. I have to say this, I think it might be my least favorite Kendrick song of all time, and I just cannot, I can't do that track, man. I cannot do it. Uh, Duckworth though, amazing beat switches, amazing beat. I love the story. That's, that story is fucking crazy when you think about it. That story is like absolutely insane. And I just love how Ninth Wonder was also on the production for that, and he killed it. Um, so overall, I really love this album. Uh, God is just like the only track I would really get rid of. I and the thing is, is that uh, a lot of people were like, 
uh, talking about the second album. And uh, I love that theory, by the way. I absolutely love that theory. I was so into it, but I don't think it's happening. Uh, oh my God, that would have... If he had put out a second album as a re- kind of like a response to this, or like the whole like, there's another story within this album. And then on the second album, he puts out the other story and it's on Easter and he's like resurrected because Jesus and all that. I think that concept was like so brilliant. But um, it's too bad it didn't happen, but whatever. That's behind us now. We have to forget about it. Although it was like the smartest thing I've ever heard. Uh, but yeah, a lot of people are saying that you gotta listen to the album backwards or whatever in reverse from uh, Duckworth to uh, Blood. But um, I haven't done that yet, but I think I'm gonna make a playlist and put all the songs in that reverse order. But the thing is, is like, I was thinking about it and it's like, Okay, so if I put these in reverse from back to front, it's like, where the fuck does God fit into there? Because the thing is, is like, you could really put it backwards. Like, Duckworth, he starts off by talking about when he was young, when he was a kid, when he was seven years old, and then he goes to 17, and then 27, and then from there you go to fear, or, no, 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 my bad. Duckworth, he was talking about the story with Top Dog, which started with his father, so then that was even before Kendrick was born. And then he goes into fear where he's seven years old, then 17, then 27. So it's like that kind of makes sense. But then you got God and that doesn't fit in at all. But then Triple uh, X, that could fit in too. So I don't know. I have, to, I have to just really sit down with it. I haven't really comprehended the album um, all that well, really. I tried to just take what I could from it without looking into other people's theories and like the actual meaning behind the album and stuff. I tried to dig up all the stuff that I could, but I've come to the realization that I'm not smart enough to do that. So I have to depend on other people's theories and outlooks on the album now to really grasp what this album is capable of holding. And I, I'm, that's just my realization, man. I'm not smart enough. I've lost all the genius that I used to have when I was going to school and stuff to be able to pick up on ideas. I've lost it all. <laughs> so I can't really I'm, overall I think the album is really good okay I I don't know where the fuck I'm gonna end up ranking this album in terms of like Kendrick's albums his discography it's I don't know where I'm gonna end up putting this thing um, but I, also I love Kid Capri on it I thought he was a really weird not any sense made in why Kid Capri was on here, but I loved how he was on here because that was such a legendary tag back in the day. And it's like, wow, that was, it's just a random addition, but I loved it. Um, overall, man, I love this thing. Kendrick did it again. And uh, yeah, those are my uh, quick, sorry, I'm, oh, I got my phone upside down here. Eight minute, so not that quick, but there you go.